What's up everybody on YouTube, it's your boy Starboy Does and I'm back with another video. And if you guys do not know who I am, I do make fashion related content such as lookbooks, how to style, DIYs, and anything to do with streetwear. So if any of those things actually interest you guys, make sure to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button to join the family. We are on the road to a thousand subs. And surprisingly, a thousand subs just doesn't seem like such a far go right now we are at 700 subscribers so i want to thank each and every one of you guys that has hit that subscribe button but while you are there you should go ahead and hit that bell to make sure that you get notified every time i drop a video why not but in today's video i want to talk to you guys about a sneaker that i feel like is definitely an alternative to a sneaker that's very expensive and a high-end sneaker so if you guys aren't really interested in paying that price but you kind of want to get somewhat of that look down today's video is definitely for you before we dive straight into it i do want to roll this quick little intro and we're gonna get straight into it let's go all right we're on it so to get things started the sneaker that we're actually going to be talking about is this sneaker right here this is the kim jones converse right here to some of you guys like i always say this may be trash to some of you guys this may be a beautiful sneaker to me in my opinion i feel like this sneaker is very very dope and if you guys do not know who kim jones is just like i did i had to do a little bit of research from the research that i did do he seems to be something like somebody that works with dior so he's like a fashion designer or whatnot and i can actually say this man did do his thing these things are straight fire and i've been looking to pick up a pair of trucks because like i feel like trucks are just a essential sneaker that you need in your collection and when it comes to these i feel like it doesn't but it actually you know ups it just a little bit you know gives it some type of a high-end look i don't know if it's just a thick sole or it's just that little plastic around the actual shoe or something, or maybe it's just a laces. You know, anything that has cream laces right now, I feel like it's high end, looks better, and I'm just gravitated a lot more, honestly. But pretty much when it comes to the sneaker, this sneaker right here was just a sneaker that I wasn't even going for, actually. To keep it 100 with you guys, I heard that Nike Ellis was getting the Carmine Sixes. I didn't cop them. And I low key, you know, I've been starting to like him, you know, whatnot. I don't really want to pay that resale price. So I was thinking, you know, maybe I could just actually walk into Nike and get them. They didn't have them, of course. You know, people going crazy right now. But they did have this sneaker right here. I feel like it wasn't a complete waste because this sneaker is very, very dope if you ask me. I don't want to go ahead and just tell you guys from afar how the sneaker is and what I think. I want to give you guys a quick little review, honestly. You know, start it from the box. Let's come in this white box right here. Mine is a little broke, you know, obviously since I got it from the Nike outlet, they do have to show the sneakers. So they did cut the top off, unfortunately. But I will be throwing a picture of what the top looks like right here. As you guys can see, just a regular white box, honestly. But I'm gonna let you guys read that size tag right there. I did get them in a size nine and a half. And if you guys are looking to pick up a pair, I would definitely say go a full size down on. If you want that one-to-one -one fit, just go a full size down. I went with a half a size down because for some reason with Converse, I don't know why, like, after like an hour of wearing them, my right foot starts to hurt. My left foot is fine. I think my right foot is slightly bigger, honestly. So if you guys are looking to pick up a pair, do go a full size down. Now that we got the box out of the way and all of the sizes, let me go ahead and give you guys that quick little review of the actual sneaker. So from that traction right there, as you guys can tell, it does have more of like a thicker traction. It does look like it's more of like a raised traction, honestly. Something that you can wear all year long. So basically through spring, summer, definitely during snow and those muddy days when it's raining or whatnot if you ask me and then moving on to that midsole right there you do have that cream or that eggshell look i feel like it does give it that high-end vibe and that vintage look if you ask me and moving on to the back that midsole does go up to the top of the shoe on the back i guess it's basically for the support because moving on to the front of the sneaker to the back you do have this cage this black translucent cage right here as you guys can tell does go from the front to the back of the sneaker connects to the back heel so i'm guessing it's basically you know for more of like a sturdy support when you're walking because if you guys do own regular converse these are just a regular plain all-stars right here are very very flimsy honestly i don't even know why i own this sneaker because i'm never gonna wear it especially with that so i'm gonna go ahead and break my ankle out here man. i don't even know what i'm doing with these honestly moving back to this sneaker right here this is the sneaker that we're gonna be talking about i can definitely say kim jones did his thing with this sneaker i'm in love with this sneaker honestly i only had it for like a couple days now and i've just been trying it on with different outfits you know planning my fits you feel me planning on when i'm going to bust these out because i feel like these things is hard honestly i tried these on with some camo pants black pants green pants regular jeans whatever it is they look dope with honestly and i can't wait to actually wear these outside you feel me but 
pretty much if I had to give you guys a rating, a one through 10 rating, I would definitely give these things at least a nine. I will give it a 10 out of 10, basically just on looks and you know, the look of the sneaker and how it's actually gonna be worn and actually stacks up to the Rick Owen sneakers that I really, really want. But I don't really wanna drop that 1K on that sneaker because I feel like it's not really worth it, honestly. But I would give it a 10 out of 10, basically just on looks. But when it comes to like comfort, I would have to go ahead and give it a notch down. I would have to give it a solid nine out of 10 when it comes to overall sneaker. Honestly, the weight is what kills it. Honestly, this sneaker is very heavy in hand. Like these things feel like some up tempos or some Timberland boots. These things is crazy. And before I forget, this is the black laces on the pair of sneakers right here. They do come with two pairs of laces, do come with that cream and they do come with that black pair of laces. You guys let me know. Are you guys feeling that black more or are you guys feeling that cream? Me personally, I feel like the cream does give it a more of a high-end look. It does pop out a lot more with that cream, honestly. So yeah, but overall sneaker, very, very dope. If you guys are looking to pick up a pair, I definitely would say go full size down, like I said. If you guys do have the option to try it on, definitely go try it on. And that right there actually conclude the talking portion of the video. So if you guys actually made it this far in the video, make sure to hit that like button. Let me know down in the comment section, what do you guys think? Are you feeling the black laces or the cream laces? What is a pair of sneakers that you guys are actually looking to pick up in the next couple of weeks? And hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel and if you haven't already, we do make fashion related content such as lookbooks, streetwears, and anything to do with fashion, especially I'm showing you guys a good alternative to a very expensive sneaker. So if any of those things actually interest you guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 1K and it doesn't seem like such a far journey because we are at 700 subscribers. So thank you to each and every one of you guys that hit the subscribe button. It does mean a lot to me. And with that right there being said, hit that bell that's right next to subscribe, get that thing a tab, let it ring a little bit. So you guys actually get notified whenever I drop a video. And with all that being said, let's get straight to this on feet. I'm Starboy Des. Thank you for watching another one of my videos. Peace. <laughs>